Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we won! Oh, thank goodness, I was so concerned there. Uh, but we defeated Vern, which also wound up defeating all of his clone dolls because he no longer had control over them, because he's dead. He did that flashy thing where he actually died for real, and I am happy because that makes two villains that we have actually defeated for real Zs for once, I think. Yay! Oh, thank goodness they unequipped Sarah for me. I don't know who I'm gonna give that to just yet. But I'm so glad that I got it back. So, let us save. There's probably a save point right outside the cave too, but... I wanna save here. Uri is still petrified. You know, it just occurred to me that the mobile potion is, says it's cure paralyzed, but it cures petrification. But what's weird is I went straight for it. Instead of the aloe vera to cure that petrification, would this have worked on the petrification? Got to make of it, Mobile Potion does not actually cure paralysis outside of battle. Is it because they accidentally set it to cure petrification instead? Is that what's going on? What happens if we go back in here? Nothing. All right. This room is now peaceful. That is a good thing. Oh, is this the end of the chapter? The four heroes have at last come to the southernmost continent in Elvenia, where the Lord of Darkness Zenobia waits to challenge them. Somehow, in the dark, darkest depths of their hearts and... But the, the Elvenians all know that once this one battle between the Earth Children, along with a few brave Elvenians who will choose to fight beside them, and the Dark Lord is decided, either the skies of her Elvenia will shine white from the wings of Serena and her many angels once more, or not another moment will pass following the darkness's dreaded triumph before the skies will become forever black as the abyss. The wings of the four Solus Enzu goddesses grow ever more incapable of flight, and soon the day will come that they'll disappear from Elvenia, never to return to the mortal plane. Aw, oh, well, come visit once in a while, though. However, in their unearthly hearts, Prian Firth, Ares Til None, Charmes Azusa, and Mechiro Vestar grow ever stronger with hope for the children they watch over, even if their spiritual bodies grow more frail. And it is the Elvenians who have given the four beloved angels of Serena that hope, for at last they have found the unbelievable courage in their hearts to fight back against the darkness that they have lived for t too long in fear of, and now it is no longer the four earthlings alone who stand in the way of evil. To Sarah, Bolas, Jersey, Sarah, and so many others. But still, will the strength that these dear creatures of Lavinia lend to our heroes and their guardian angels be enough to stop the marauding will of Serena's eternal nemesis and bring her back to the two worlds she created and loved so many millennia ago? We shall see in the upcoming final chapters of our story. It is at last drawing to a close.
Darn, I should have ended that last episode right here. Oh well, chapter 9, Midnight. Interesting song choice for the homeland of the Dark Lord. Ooh, that's a lot of land to traverse down that way. A single island there as well. I wonder... Not yet. There's gonna be a secret location in the game. I was told how to get to it, but I have not actually read that information yet because there's no reason to anyway. Whatever I can find there is not actually going to be given to me until New Game Plus. Oh, is that the bad guy's castle right there? I got a bit of a ways to go still to get to it. Oh, there's another castle down there. A lot of land, empty land. Oh, another castle there. One of these castles is going to be the location of the bad guy. Harper's Ferry. If there is not at least some sort of mention of a fairy here, I will be thoroughly confused. What is with this place? Even for a village in Alvinia, it seems so... humble looking. Yeah, I'm surprised the GAs haven't already made known their disgust for this decrepit living environment already in this case. It is because we were already well aware. My sisters and I have heard the cries of these poor humans every single night that you four children have slipped at our feet. Unaware of anything but perhaps the immediate danger around you while we watched over you. Since you all even first made it to Elvinia, it has been this way. Where we now stand is perhaps the very last settlement still inhabited by Elvinians that stands between us and the Domain Princess Madison spoke of as once being her precious home, but now belonging to the Lord of Darkness and the Lunas of Runites. Oh, this is the eight Dwarven Kingdom that Princess Madison was ruling. Semi-ruling. She's only a princess. I thought it was Sibyl Han. Shows how much I'm paying attention. I can only imagine that the rest of the continent beyond this point contains very few, if any, living creatures native to this world, and the land itself is very close to ruination, a true sign that none other than creatures of the darkness, who do not at all belong to Elvinia, roam the center of Aquavale. There is only darkness ahead on the remainder of your journey, Earthling and Elvinian children. We ourselves, as we venture further south, will be the only source of light. Tusk looks up at Ares. Then... Yes, these poor, starving creatures who tire endlessly in the northern mines are, and are forced to live in these paltry, filthy homes, are no doubt the only survivors of the destruction of the Teal Cloud Kingdom. With no surrounding cities or kingdoms to help support them, a village this small would easily be reduced to this state, left to the mercy of the Lunas Aru Knights, who are the only ones around that they have to call out to, for help to. Sigh. We know this because... There is one shred of dignity that the Elvinians of the lost and forgotten Harper's Ferry cling to. It is their faith in us, the four Solus and Zoo goddesses. And now it is our time to heed their cries. We must free Octavale of this gorge that is collectively named the Lunas Aru Knights. 
Jersey is horrified. Slaves? To those four monsters? The girl with a normal washed face says, Mama, I think it's them. The boy with unwashed hair says, The humans they spoke of. What, what's this about now? Woman in rags. Please forgive my children, sirs, human and elven lady. They mean you no harm. Then, what is it we can do for you, miss? My name is Rebecca... Uh... Uh... Al... Uh, Al... I'll break... Uh... And this is my son, Ushio, and my daughter, Anise. Are you four young men by chance the otherworldly humans known as Uri, Harrison, Lin, and Dusk? Yes, we are. How did you know? We... We're told to wait for four travelers who went by these names to come through Harper's Ferry. Go Master Marwin warned us to wait for you to come from the Northern Continent so that you all wouldn't pass through without us giving this letter from the Master and his three cohorts to you. Oh, Grandis. So, it must be Grandis who is ruling over you all. I might have known we haven't heard the last of him. The scary horned man and thing lady both came to us with this letter. They said to wait for four humans who looked and dressed differently from the rest of us to come from the North Mines and relay the words of the Lunas Aru nice to them. Or else the nice would hurt us. Trumble. Ushio clings to his mother. Mama! The fiends! They would dare? It is as my children say, Lady Elf. The two demons who came here with the message intended for you threatened to kill my son and daughter, as well as every other child in the village, if we disobeyed them by letting you all pass through the village unaccosted. Dusk shakes his head. Does the villainy of these Lunas Elro Knights no no limits? Wait, so this letter they left you to give to us is on behalf of the Luna Suburb Knights? Yes. I believe that is what these two demi-humans who came to us with the message referred to themselves as, along with Master Marwin and the strange red-haired man in black who looks as though he might have once been one of your people, Lady Elf. Tassera mutters, to call him a member of the elven race is much too forgiving. Lady, if this master of yours is Grandis, and how many others did you say are usually in this company, little miss? And he's hastily nods. Three, Sir Knight. Dusk face pales. Three others? No, this could not mean. Look, let's not jump to conclusions yet. We should at least read the letter first. Can we see it, lady? Lynn reads aloud, Accursed humans of the equally godforsaken mud hole that is your own world, we have fought many times over the blue planet called Elvenia that not only do these earthless Elvenians you protect have no right to rule over, but none of you four jerk strangers to this planet have a right or a reason to fight for, and thus far there has been no decisive victor in our many confrontations. You defied us and somehow escaped death time and again, and it is time to put an end to this. No more shall we, the majestic and powerful Lunas of our knights who serve the one true god in this universe, the Great Dragon, bring ourselves so low as to bother oppressing the weak creatures of this world or destroying their homelands. These acts mean nothing to us anymore. You four earthlings are all that stand in our way. 
The people of Volvinia are powerless without you, we realize, and so we will see to it that they no longer have a banner of courage to use an excuse to stand and fight for their pitiful planet. We await, e we await you each. We await you in each of our castles on the moon dust plain southeast of this village, amidst the heart of the continent where the kingdom of Teal Cloud stood before the Dark Lord crushed it between uh, beneath his very heel. And we, when we come face to face with each other for the last time, there at the top balcony of our respective domains we will fight as we were destined to, until you, the so-called heroes of Alvinia, lie dead at our feet. There will be an end to our battle this time. Well, so you say, but there hasn't really been much end to the battles previously. You guys keep coming back. It's kind of annoying. Pray hard to your goddess, Earth children, for we, the Lunas Elrune Knights, will sacrifice everything we are and have to forever abolish the only hope that the Elvenians have for freedom from the darkness. Grendis Marwyn, Gorgon Ghidra, Wraith Sifdorn, Elowind Sutherland. Well, we just killed Elowind. Then we killed Ray Safedorn. Right? When was this letter written? Well, I guess this is it. The knights are all that stand in our way of getting to the Dark Lord himself. Wraith. angrier says Wraith Did none of you notice her name said aloud just now? She's still alive Dusk dryly says that which is hatred for all that is good is perhaps the only thing that stayed death's hand from her in spite of our having won that fight Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not how that works. Somehow, I am not at all that terribly shocked to see that she still lives. Well, yeah, but we just killed Vern. Unless he's also still alive and was able to get ahead of us to write that letter. What do you think we should do, Uri? Ah, I don't know, okay? We just can't ever be rid of them. Nor can we any of you ever stop asking me stupid questions. Dang the knights and dang all of you. Every last one. We had better find everyone else and get going. If we keep the Luna Silver Knights waiting, the people of this village will be the ones to suffer, not us. Well, I'll... Part of me wants to say, let's just wait for him to come here so that we can just kill him once and for all, but at the same time, it sounds like we'll be fighting them one at a time if we go to them, so that seems like the better strategy. Okay, where, 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 did, he, where did you go, Uri? Actually, do I have time to look? I don't have time to look. Oh, they're going to stop me as soon as I try to leave, aren't they? No, they didn't! Okay, well, in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and save. I'm also going to find out if anybody I know is streaming right now. Let's see here. The answer is no, nobody I am following is streaming right now. So we will simply go to the end slate as I say... Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one, when we try to find Uri and also look around town, probably buy some new equipment. I'm pretty sure there's going to be new equipment here. Yeah, the guide is indeed mentioning some shops, so going to do some shopping next time. Oh, uh, the guide also says who the final party member is right in the equipment list. Whoops. I had a hunch, though. <laughs>